Hi everyone, my name is Alex. I'm one of the co-founders and chief product officer for Twingate. What I'm gonna do is show you how in just two or three minutes, using Twingate, you can get secure, completely private access to a resource behind a firewall on AWS or any other cloud provider or on-prem network of your choice. I've already created an account at twingate.com, so what I'm gonna do is sign into our admin console using my Google identity. And once the admin console loads, what you'll see is that there's two things I need to set up. Number one is I need to eventually add a resource that I'm connecting to, so that's gonna be a Linux VM that's on um, the AWS VPC, it's behind the firewall. And secondly, I need to set up a connector. A connector is a uh, very simple piece of software, runs in a Docker container that allows us to forward that traffic through to the private network without exposing anything on the public internet, either using port forwarding or DNS, we don't need any of that. It sits completely behind the firewall. Okay, so now that I've got my docker run command, I'm gonna to connect to the connector host on AWS. I'm gonna take this run command and plop it in over here. Okay, now that while that container is being instantiated, let's go ahead and set up our access to our private resource. So let me add that resource. I'm gonna use a private DNS address. So this is a private zone host on AWS give it a name, and select which network it's on. So as long as this address is accessible from our connector instance, uh, we will be able to forward traffic to it from any device as long as you can authenticate yourself. All right, let's double check to see if we got a heartbeat, and we have. All right, so let me disconnect from my EC2 host. And what I'm gonna do as an extra measure is actually just take this connector host off of the public internet by putting it behind NAT. All right, so we're actually gonna hide that public IP address. All right, with that change made, let's just double check that it's inaccessible. And it is, we're being blocked by AWS's firewall. And let's also double check that I cannot access that server I just set up. All right, so as, as is obvious, this is a private DNS name, so it's not um, accessible from the public internet. All right, so the last thing to do to access it is actually just spin up the Twingate client. So the client runs on your desktop. We support all five major platforms. You can download it from the App Store yourself. And all I need to do is connect to our network. And as you'll see, when I connect to the network, I'll get redirected to the browser to authenticate myself, again, using my Google identity. And assuming that I pass authentication here, we'll redirect back to the Twingate client. And you'll see that it is now connected to our network. I can close this window now. And the server that was previously inaccessible and invisible to the outside world will now accept a connection via Twingate's uh, dynamic proxy system. And so in just a second here, you'll see that we connect to it through the connector we just spun up, and voila, I'm connected. So I can access this server as if it was available to me on the local network. So I hope that uh, was helpful in showing you how quick and easy it is uh, to connect to private resources using Twingate. Thanks for your time.